once the uh, children or the adult leave the school, they have two choices. Either they can go to the university, the college, or find a job. One who are lucky enough to go to university, they will get good qualification and hopefully they will find a fairly good job. But those who haven't got the financial backing will have to either stay in the village and do menial farm work, which is extremely hard, uh, both physically and of course uh, very burdensome in the family, because you won't have much, much of the income from the farming. If you are lucky enough to go abroad, uh, like uh, the uh, Malaysia or the Middle Eastern country, then he has the opportunity to earn good money to send home. Those who go away will be gone for a good few years. My brother-in-law was in Korea for six years and he wanted to stay longer because that is the only opportunity you, he will have to earn as much money as he can before he returned to Nepal. But meanwhile, while he was in Korea, he was sending quite a lot of money. From that money, he was able to buy a fairly big piece of land and send his two sons to the school, uh, which is in, of course, Garma. The one who goes to uh, the university will get a job in some sort of administration. But of course, Nepal being Nepal, the caste and the upbringings has a lot to do with the jobs. If you are a higher caste, you are not expected to work in the field or for anybody else's. And if you are poor enough uh, and a lower caste, you are expected to work for, for anybody or become a servant of a rich person. If you are very, very lucky, you can join the British Army, the Gurkhas, and that has got enormous potential to do very well individually and family-wise.